Hello, good morning. I wanted to show you how I took some clearance items at Target and kind of spruced up our laundry room a little bit. I'll also give you a tour of what's in our laundry room and give you an overview of how we have improved that space, made it more functional, larger, and added some simple inexpensive decor, so stay tuned. Here's a quick before shot. Things were just put on top of the washer and dryer. And now let me show you how we're using the Target These stuff. These are the threshold storage bins. These were regularly $9.99 and I got them each for $2.98 a piece. I decided to go ahead and get three of them because why not? That's how many were there. So I did go ahead and take the stuff off of the top of my washer and dryer and I went ahead and organized it in each bin. This is not laundry associated. This is actually um, a little bag here that I keep some doggy waste bags in. But I just thought that the gray and white kind of matched and I didn't really have a spot for this. So I just sat it here to kind of balance it out a little bit more. First basket, I have some clothes that need to be sewn up. This is a laundry folder, the little laundry mesh bag, some clips, these little labels that I love. They kind of remind me of the Martha Stewart ones I found a while ago, but they're washable labels, so I label a lot of the kids' belongings with this, especially when they go away to camp. So some stain pre-wash here. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It works okay. And then I have some Method dryer sheets. I don't go through these very quickly at all because I try to use um, more natural things, like this right here is our wool balls that I got on Amazon, and then I would just put my essential oils on there. So that's that basket. In the middle bin, I have some Method fabric softener. Again, I don't use this very often. I prefer vinegar instead. I'm actually out of vinegar. I went through a ton of it this week with some miscellaneous cleaning that I've done around the house. This is something else I'm trying from the Dollar Tree. I saw this on Clutterbug. She said um, to definitely try out the Dollar Tree's OxyClean. So we're giving it a try. I bought two. This is a container that I keep my own um, homemade laundry detergent in. I'm out of it right now because I am using something else instead and I'll show you in just a moment. Um, I do use the Castile soap when I make that. So that's why I have a bar of that in there that is left over for when I make it next. In that second basket I have a thing of borax. I also use this in my homemade laundry detergent. Again, I am using something else, so I just kind of stuck it behind so that I don't accidentally spill it when I reach into my storage bin. And in this other basket, I don't really have a purpose for it yet. What I'm gonna try to do is keep some hangers down here and then just hang the clothes and then take them up just to decrease one more step instead of folding and then transporting and distributing. I'm gonna do that instead. And this is what used to be on our washer this held rags so any kind of rags that we needed for cleaning were in this basket so i just stuck it in here for now I found this nate burkus rug i think this was less than six dollars i thought that the black and white tied in with the rest of the room and then over here i found these two little baskets as well these were each i think about six dollars and i had been looking for something just like this so i was very excited to get these oh i still have the tag so i can tell you exactly how much they were so 651. Uh, so i'm going to put one is going to be for colors and one is going to be for white and i like the size of them because this room isn't very big and i don't want to get piled up with large amounts of laundry just a small load every day is what i try to do instead of laundry detergent i'm trying these wash balls i've seen the name brand ones the crystal wash balls but i decided to go on amazon and try just the cheaper version of them it's supposed to be the same thing i've had them for a couple of weeks they're okay i think for most everyday things they're doing an okay job some of the dirtier things that i have tried to wash um, i'm not as impressed with so i have been um, using some leftover laundry detergent for those i thought i'd just show the rest of the laundry room as well so we redid this last year. This actually ended right here. Here's a picture of where we had knocked down the wall and we're starting to reconfigure this room. And here are the steps that my husband built out in the garage. And our door to our garage was actually here. So this was a step and a landing and, and went out to the garage. 
we have a lot of space in our garage to kind of build out. So my husband took the spot that was a landing and he just extended it and reworked the door, took out this wall. And then I wanted to do some shiplap, but we found a way to cheat it, which I believe this is Lawan or plywood that he has just painted white. And actually we have found some stuff since we've done this in Lowe's that was already white. So that would have saved us a step. So he also put in some lights up here, some recessed lights. And then we found this light right here from Lowe's super cheap, but it had an ugly uh, chain or whatever that it was hanging on. And so we went ahead and changed it out to this. This floor we just found on clearance at Lowe's. It was just um, vinyl before, so this looks a lot better. Okay, and then I'll just show this other piece. This is actually something my husband built when we lived in our other house. Um, when we redid that laundry room and it's a stand for our washer and dryer obviously and then he made a pull out drawer for it and then he put some baskets and he actually I guess has these screwed or mounted inside of here just so that they don't slip and slide around and I mean we do use this somewhat but not as much as the stuff on top so um, I have just some miscellaneous things in here for clothes, like the lint roller and the iron are in this one. And then this one I have extra Dyson parts because I have a Dyson upright and then I have the Dyson um, V8. I don't even know why I still have this, but there's that. And then this was an area, or this is an area where we keep the trash bags. And then I don't use a cat box that has the liners anymore. I have an automatic one, but just have some extra ones there in case we need those for anything. And then of course your little um, brush to get the lint out of the dryer. So that was very nice. I do kind of want to put this down on the ground and then put a counter and then have the area above it. But he made that and it's really nice and that's what we have so far.